So when you win the championship in your sport, there's going to be more of a spotlight on you. That's what I attribute this Adolis Garcia internet talk to. As people are looking at the radical body transformation, Bro Bible went and gathered some people yeah. gathered saying the people. we need to have a discussion about Adolis. Yeah, here's the uh, write-up. One of the most feared hitters in baseball, finishing. Uh, he burst onto the scene, finishing fourth in the rookie of the year in 2021. But an incredible physical transformation from that rookie year when he was 28 to now has some fans raising questions. There's a photo of him. Um, in it was in this would now this photo that was shown was in the postseason, it was in the, the ALCS in Houston, right? He had a backwards hat on, his, he was on uh, MLB TV, and he looks jacked here. He was jacked now, he doesn't look the way he did in the photo that was posted <laughs> yesterday, where he looks like a superhero. Yeah, that is not a neck, that is a massive, massive. Now, this is angle of attack, I think, for me. Uh, the way the angle of this camera is, it's just it's making them look. Because how many more pounds of muscle do you think Adolis has with this picture on the right versus the left? And Ryan is working to get it on the face. He camera. looks about 15. 15 to 25 pounds heavier. <laughs> uh, which, I mean, look, Latimer did that in the offseason in the program. And this is compared to last year in yeah. the ALCS? Yeah. It, okay. This is definitely going to have to be angled because I remember there was a photo last year that circulated of him looking massive in like September of last year. I need to find that one. Some of the other tweets, Adolis' evolution from, oh, wow, yeah, that guy's jacked to when did John Jones gain Kirby Powers and eat Yoel Romero needs to be studied. So yeah. Yo Yo Yoel Romero is a Cuban uh, MMA fighter. He like broke his neck. He has neck fused together. So when he runs... He can't move his neck. Oh, no. It is, I'll show you a video. It is the wildest thing you've ever seen. Crazy. Someone, someone also tweeted, damn, he even got the swole Barry Bonds dome. I'm not saying he did or didn't, but they definitely need to be testing the dude on the daily. Look at the guy running. He can't move his neck when he runs. Oh, my gosh. He's just a monster human. And he was saying, like, and wow. this, he's like, so he's from Cuba, and he keeps saying, like, yeah, this is the Cuban diet, man. When you When you win... You get three meals a day. When you lose, you only get two meals a day. And that's, that's, how they, that's how they do their training down there. Like, their training down there is so fanatical that I could I could easily make the case. This is the picture they're trying to yeah. use on the internet, uh, on Twitch and YouTube, to call it yeah. out. He's, he's flexing, it looks like, yeah. in that one. I could easily make the case that this is just this is just Cuban weight training. Like, that's all he does in the offseason is go to Cuba, and they literally, that's all they do all day. Uh, the, 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 the one downside to that is who has generally been popped for PED use in Major League Baseball over the last few years? It generally has been guys from Dominican Republic or Cuba or something like that who are able to get stuff down there that you can't get here. The labels are all half, half, half the time they don't even put the ingredients in it and these guys wind up getting popped. And that's that's the downside to MLB's steroid policy is that it really is kind of been unfair to the Latin players because they're getting stuff in their country that, I mean, sometimes these guys aren't even getting these things from doctors. They just he, get them on the street. That's last year. He's pretty. Uh, oh, he was always been big. His, his, yeah. He's always been big. He's always he's big. been big. That's, that, the way that photo looks he's, is a different animal. It's It's really his head. That everyone's but, looking at. But I mean, he's at, not but, even flexing there, and his no, bicep looks the same. It's not the art. It's really his head that everyone's looking at. Now look, I think it's angle of attack. Now look, though. web team, Ryan, Josh Clark, Carter, do not put out the headline on Twitter. Is Adolis Garcia on steroids? <laughs> question mark. Sean, RJ, and Bobby discuss because these morons on Twitter who can't or don't read. Uh, they'll they'll sit there and get triggered like they did yesterday when we had the Josh Young question and topic come out over whether he is uh, snake bitten or whether he is an injury prone player. Yeah. So these idiots who shouldn't have a vote or social media, they shouldn't be even be allowed to oh, have no. Twitter. That's fire, Josh Clark. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. The people who don't <laughs> read. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yes. Don't they... don't headline porn us with a. Is it Dallas Garcia juicing? And yeah. We get a call from John Blake in Arlington. Yeah, we uh, we I, look. I, this, I, is just, this is just an article that was written. The article that was written. We're just talking about it, man. Um, it's unfortunately this is what's good. This is the nature of it. This is what's going to happen. 
Um, and yes, he a thousand percent will be tested. I last, hope they don't test him. Last spring, I don't, don't want to know. Well, he's got to hit three uh, three home runs in a game, and then he'll get tested. Yeah. Uh, if it was the National Football League last spring, he was asked, uh, "What's the favorite exercise?" And he said, uh, "The bench press." How much? I don't, know I don't know how much. I had someone in Oklahoma City in the media asking me how much you bench pressed. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. I don't care. I, 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 I don't know. He's know. a cardio I, guy at this point. I love you, Eric. Me? But no. Yeah. Don't you. care. No, I don't do cardio. I do. I do a little bit. I'll do a little bit of the curve, the curve treadmill. But uh, it's just 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But I don't do that. 877-881-1053 is the truckwreck.com text line. It is Frankel and Frankel as your injury attorneys. 877-881-1053 as the Rangers looking to bounce back after the loss yesterday against Tampa. Again, 1130 pregame first pitch today at 1210. And any moment now, any day now, we get the debut of Justin Foskey. He's right. I'm so pumped for that. You excited for it? Yeah, I, I'm genuinely excited for it. that. That everything Jared had pointed out yesterday that last year he had 85 walks and 70 strikeouts at AAA, and like I mean, that's he's one of the few hitters at any level of baseball that has you know been able to that had that kind of a differential on their walks versus strikeouts. Foscue has been a guy who in three years in the minors his OPS is like 870. I mean, he's been really consistent at the minor league level, and he was a college player, so a lot of people felt like he'd be up sooner, I think, than you know, going three full years without getting up to the major league. So I'm excited to see him. I think there's – it's funny. The way he gets talked about is just like, uh, you kind of wonder about the fielding, but the hit tool is really impressive. It sounds similar to the way people used to talk about Willie Calhoun when he was coming through. Not that that means that's who he's going to be. And Willie Calhoun had a really nice season in 19 or whatever that was, where he had like an 860 OPS and hit 20 home runs for you. But Foscu is a guy who can actually put the field. Uh, not great. No, apparently <laughs> not. Not Get really. Him rides a six flags. But I mean, he is a guy who, like last year, <laughs> last year at AAA, his OPS was 862. He was really good last year at AAA, and so he's going to come up here and he's going to hit. Uh, Franklin Franklin injury attorneys text line uh, on the Adolis Garcia situation. I worked in player development for eight years for the Yankees. Well, Every guy comes into camp big and ends the season smaller. Hmm. It's how they prep for the season. They can't bulk up during the year. So they do in the off season. They kind of like, they're like a bear hibernating from the winter. They get all fat. <laughs>